good evening and welcome to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. I'm your host, Nigel Honeybone. When my old friends Victor and Edward Halperin made their first horror film White Zombie in 1932, they invented a subgenre and raised the bar of horror movies to a level that only RKO was able to reach with any consistency. Their follow-up, Supernatural, was also groundbreaking in its own way and was almost as good as White Zombie. The third time, however, was the charm, and by charm I mean the black-headed pin jammed through the heart of a voodoo doll carved in the likeness of the Halperin's reputation. In light of what its creators had done previously, tonight's presentation, Revolt of the Zombies, is a terrible film. But if you disregard what came before it, well, it's still terrible. Turning our attention now to the less forgivable ways in which Revolt of the Zombies goes wrong, take a close look at the opening credits. You'll notice that apparently nobody wanted credit for writing the script. Honestly, I can't say I blame Harold Higgins, Rollo Lloyd or Victor Halperin. If I'd written this rubbish, I wouldn't want anyone to know about it either. In fact, I'd go a little further and refuse directorial and production credit and burn all the prints and shoot anyone who remembers it. There are so many scenes of people standing still in front of photograph backdrops, mouthing clumsy and insipid dialogue full of coagulating curds of lumpy exposition, that you'll swear Revolt of the Zombies had been made in 1396 rather than 1936. See for yourself. <laughs> 